Hello and welcome to the Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez, and today we're going vegan. Vegan's a culinary style that has been growing across the nation for years, but it's not a fad, guys. It's definitely here to stay. Over 9 million Americans are vegan, and offering a vegan menu or vegan options can in some cases account for as much as 30% of your sales. But it has to be done right, guys, and with the same care that you give a gluten-free recipe. Separate tools, separate ovens, and prep areas to assure that you're not contaminating your beautiful vegan creations with that icky, sticky meat mess. Now, some people might be hesitant to offer vegan options, but I'm here to tell you that there's nothing to be afraid of. If done right, and with good quality ingredients, you can offer your vegan patrons a great tasting pizza that even a seasoned pizza eater is gonna enjoy. In the words of Alex Kuntz of Hot Tongue Pizza, we don't wanna make a good vegan pizza, we wanna make a good pizza that's also vegan. So let's get started. For this pie, we're gonna need a 16 ounce dough ball, fresh guacamole, artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomatoes, and Miyoko cultured vegan pizza mozzarella. First, stretch out your dough to a 16 inch crust. Then spread about four ounces of fresh guacamole over the base. To make your own guacamole, place two to three cut avocados in a large bowl Then add some diced tomatoes, diced red onions, minced garlic, salt, and lime juice, all to taste. Mix thoroughly until you reach your desired texture, be it chunky or smooth. Add your artichoke hearts, then drizzle your Miyoko vegan mozzarella over your pie, and bake it at 525 degrees for about four to five minutes. Remove your pie from the oven and add your sun-dried tomatoes. Bake it again for an additional four minutes or until the crust is golden brown and the toppings are fully baked. You can also add additional dollops of guacamole for flavor, color, and the cool temperature. Then cut, serve, and enjoy. Well, there you have it guys, a delicious vegan recipe that you can try in your homes or your restaurants. Stay tuned to The Pizza Kitchen and Pizza TV for more tasty vegan treats throughout November and beyond. Also check out the November 2020 issue of PMQ Pizza Magazine for vegan marketing tips to help you harvest that section of your market. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, keep those ovens lit.